Hello, this is Daniel Plays. My name is Daniel, and welcome to yet another Minecraft video here on the Daniel Plays channel. Today, we're going to take a look at some of the best shaders of this current moment. Before we get into this video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit that big red subscribe button, and of course, hit the bell right next to that. The first shader pack of this video is Exposa Shader, and this is a really fun and refreshing shader with a unique look. It will give your world a somewhat orange tint, I guess, making it feel like it's autumn in Minecraft, but permanent. The shader has some great features such as depth of field, has some nice shadows and overall, you know, it just feels colorful, which is pretty cool. By adding waves and bright underwater caustics, exposure shaders also make water look amazing. The shader also features cool looking clouds, which look a bit pixelated, but they definitely enhance the look of your Minecraft worlds and making them feel much more realistic. Next up is a brand new shader that hasn't even been released yet. This shader is called Solar Shader and it's a shader that was written completely from scratch. So it's not a BSL edit or a Chocopic edit or something like that. It's made by Seth Septonia's and is a great addition to the existing collection of available shaders. Now, Solar Shaders sacrifice quite some performance for amazing looks. The shader has an amazing majestic look to it in my opinion and adds a touch of fantasy to Minecraft. With that, it makes distant views in Minecraft look absolutely spectacular. With Solar Shaders, any water in your world will also look gorgeous and realistic and with a vibrant watercolor, calm waves, and high quality reflections, it's up to par with most of the great shader packs out there. And believe it or not, that is not even it. It has yet another trick up its sleeve called BCL, and that is short for bloom color lighting. Your torches and rods and all kinds of other light sources will evolve into beautiful colored lights with this setting. If you're not convinced yet, go download the shader pack and check out Colored Bloom for yourselves and I'm sure you're gonna love it. Complimentary Reimagine is the next shader pack and that is a shader pack that will work on most PCs. It's not really a low-end shader, but should run fine on most systems when set to the low quality preset. Reimagined is also a relatively new shader pack and it was created by MNGT, who also created the original complementary shaders, not to be confused with the newly created complementary reimagined shaders. The difference is that the original shaders were a BSL shaders edit and this one called Reimagined is not. Reimagined features its own set of unique features, which are a collection of some of the most popular shader features out there and they stem from all kinds of shader packs. Reimagined itself is designed to work really well with the look of vanilla Minecraft and brings only minor changes to like basic things in Minecraft such as clouds or water. So for example, clouds will look awesome with Reimagined, but they will still be square. And the same goes for water. Water won't have a crazy new look, but it will feel more like an upgraded version of the vanilla water look. And one of the features that really stands out with Reimagine is the Aurora Borealis. Apart from the integrated and generated normals, which is really impressive, I just think the Aurora Borealis looks amazing. The Aurora Borealis in this shader pack makes your night skies look insane. And if you add the overimagined shader add-on to it, you will be able to fully customize the look of this Aurora too. Next up is Lux Shaders, which is a really cool shader pack. And unlike all the other shader packs in this video, this is an edit of BSL shaders. That does not mean it looks like BSL shaders though, because it's been changed and optimized in many great ways. Lux Shaders has beautiful aesthetics, but is also relatively friendly to, you know, low-end PCs, older PCs, and some of the changes that you will notice with the shader pack are different colors and also different camera effects that are enabled by default. Lux Shaders cranks up the vibrance a little, for example, which makes colors in your world stand out more. For that reason, foliage will look much greener and also the sky is a deeper tint of blue, which is then again reflected in the water, so both of those will also look a lot more blue. And then at night, Lux Shaders also adds subtle aurora to your night sky, as well as the occasional shooting star, which is really cool in my opinion. This makes nighttime in Minecraft feel both mystical and a bit ominous at the same time. So don't gaze upon the beautiful night sky for too long because before you know it, a creeper will blow up in your face. The next shader pack is one that you will definitely enjoy if you're using a low-end PC or a laptop. It's called Chocopic 13, the high performance edition, and it comes in two versions. It's basically a stripped down version of the original Chocopic 13 shaders, which is more like high-end shaders and features all kinds of cool effects. Because these cool features come at a cost, you're better off using the high performance edition when it comes to performance. That version lacks a lot of those ultra realistic effects, but gives excellent FPS in return, making Minecraft much more playable and also enjoyable for that reason. And now there's two versions of this pack, like I said, if your PC or laptop can't handle the low version of this shader pack very well, give the 
Toaster Edition a try because that version lacks even more features but runs amazing. And let's wrap it up with another great low-end shader pack because why not? This one is called T-Shaders and it's well known among low-end shader enthusiasts. It is very basic as in really very basic. No crazy effects, no ultra realistic visuals, just basic settings to make Minecraft look a little more lively and a little more fun. A huge advantage of T-Shaders is its customizability. There are a bunch of settings that allow you to tweak this shader to work just right for you. It does have some effects such as ambient occlusion and basic anti-aliasing called FXAA. And other than that, it allows you to customize the basic look of water and it can apply different color schemes to your world. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and of course, you can let me know you did by giving this video a thumbs up and hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell right next to it. And then without any further ado, I will, of course, as always, catch you in the next one. See ya.